So what I will show you today is my automatic drip watering system set up for my raised beds in my garden that you see right there. I have there in the middle I have three four by eight beds and then I have a smaller one down there at the end. That is my, that's a little blueberry I am in there. And then I have two muscadines on each side of that arch. Hopefully they'll grow and be nice and full. In the middle I had a couple of tomato plants. I haven't grown anything over the summer, so I have had my bed covered up with uh, some black plastic to prevent the wheat from growing. You can see these two are still covered up. It's a little messy out here because it's just been sitting untouched pretty much the whole summer here. I've been waiting for the fall season here in Central Florida to uh, be ready with my bed you see here. And there you can see my watering system. I have four drip lines. So, uh, in the, in the length of the bed, in the 8 foot length and each strip line have holes for, I believe it's yeah, 6 inch, 6 inch that's my main tube, it's clamped onto the side so I easily can release them I'll get back to you and show that in a little bit there you have my water barrels uh, that I have 3, 60 gallons they will provide water for my garden for 10 to 14 days. I have connected a piece of clear tubing to the, to the pipes below so I always can see at what level the water is inside of the bells. So yeah, that's how much it is in the I cover up the clear pipe with a piece of PVC to avoid algae form inside of the clear pipe. All three barrels are upside down and connected with pipe to each other underneath the table. Here you can see old Home Depot bucket that will give me access to the first barrel. It's prepared so I can collect water but right now I haven't set that up so I'll just use the opening to mix in um, fertilizer whenever I fill up the barrels with water. So this is where I fill it up. This is the, the blue faucet is water coming in and when I turn it on the water will flow in and fill up the three barrels. There I have a timer. Make sure you use a, a ball valve timer for a system like this. I can set the duration, frequency. I have it running like 15 minutes per day. And this is my water filter. It's filled up wherever dirt comes inside of the barrels. And I have some valves pretty much throughout the whole system so I better can control the water flow. So from there the pipe goes down underneath the in the ground and up at each bed and on the side fence where I have my grapes growing And there's another one. So I have those tubes running all over the place so I can use them whenever I put up a new plant or need water in a new place. So we are back at the first bed that I have to get ready now. And let me show you how to get the pipes out of the way so I can work with the dirt.
I do that one time a year. Ah, sometimes two times in Florida. We, we can have two seasons if we want. Depending on what I grow. So I unclip them in both ends. And then I flip them right over. Now I have access to the dirt and can do whatever I need to be done without all the tubing being in my way. And I'm done with the bed. I've added some compost and perlite and some topsoil and I flip it right back over again and I reattach the tube to the pipe Clip the tubing back into place and I'm ready for watering again.